Hello everyone, welcome back to Global Admissions and today we're going to be continuing with our series where we go over the required documents for applying to universities. So we have done the personal statement as well as the English uh, language certificate um, and the recommendation letters and how to prepare them, how to get them, how to uh, get the test and everything. So you can find those videos in the cards above. So if you could, you can click on those videos, it's all part of a series that we're doing. We have a playlist with all of these on our um, channel so you can go over to there if you want to check out those videos today we're going to be going over the guarantor letter what is it why do i need it what is it for we're, like everything about that we're going to be going over so a guarantor letter is a letter from your financial guarantor that will um, take the responsibility of um, making sure that you can pay for the fees of um, your studies. And um, sometimes in some of the guarantor letters, they also um, guarantee that you will have a friendly behavior in the country where you are going to be studying or at the university campus. So also in this guarantor letter, um, the, your guarantor can be either um, your parents, it can be your spouse, um, it can be a relative of yours. It can be the agency, like the if you have a scholarship and you have a scholarship agency, or if maybe your work is sponsoring this study, um, then they will be this agency. So they will fill in this form, um, and they will. This will just be something that shows that you there is someone that can ensure that you can um, pay your fees, and that you can also you also will be having good behavior on the campus. So why do you need this guarantor letter? Um, I first of all just want to say that not all um, countries and universities require this letter, but it is very easy to get and you don't have to necessarily do it all by yourself. In a moment, we'll talk about where you can get this guarantor letter um, or a template for the guarantor letter. But some universities have a specific a guarantor letter that you should have filled out. Um, so that is something that when you are applying through Global Admissions or our sister company, China Admissions, you can book a call with us to go over this. Um, and you always, if you're confused about this and you want to check, you can also check on the university website. Sometimes they'll have extra documents to download. Um, or if you want us to check up um, with this and to see if there's a very specific type of guarantor letter necessary, then we can go over that. Um, however, it is always best to have it prepared. And this is just something that will ensure to the university that you are a self-funding student or you have some kind of agency that is funding your studies. Um, because if you have no intention of being able to pay the university fees yourself in case you do not get a scholarship, um, then that is definitely an issue to the university because now you can't fund your studies to be there um, and uh, you're, they can't necessarily give you a space if they're not giving a scholarship. You will then have to drop out and then that spot is maybe taken away from someone who could actually um, get into the university and continue. So this is something that the university just has. So um, it is a way to show that you are a self-funding student. Now, where do I get this guarantor letter? So um, on China Admissions, our sister company, we have a specific letter that is made specifically for Chinese universities. So you can fill that out and use that as your guarantor letter um, or your guarantor obviously can fill it out. And um, you will also then upload a the passport scan of the guarantor um, and you will upload that onto your China admissions portal. We also now have our own global admissions um, guarantor letter that you can fill out as well. So you can also go down to the links below and you can find these letters for both China admissions and for global admissions. You can download those templates, print them out, fill them out, and then scan them, upload them. And that is what you'll be using um, for your guarantor letter. If not, some universities might not ask you to have this guarantor letter and some other universities, they might have a very specific type of guarantor letter, as we talked about before, which we can always check up about. But it is a fairly simple process of filling out this guarantor letter. Now, who needs the guarantor letter? 
It's the other question that we have. Um, so most people need to fill out the guarantor letter if it is required. It's not just for people that are under the age of 18 or just over the age of 18. Most people are going to have to um, fill out the guarantor form if it is necessary for the university. So that is something that cannot really be waived. It is also a fairly simple process to go through. So um, it's not very difficult to make this document and to upload it. So everyone is going to need to do it if it's a requirement to the university that you're applying to. Also, please be aware that in some circumstances, um, some universities will also require you um, or your financial guarantor to upload um, a bank statement to show that you have the amount, the, the, the lowest amount necessary in order to get enrolled into the university and to pay for certain studies. So some universities might require that. Um, so not all the universities will require it, but keep this in mind that this will sometimes be a requirement. So that is it for this video. Um, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel um, if you're interested in all of our other content about studying abroad, choosing universities, how to prepare other documents. It really helps a lot and there's a lot of very valuable information. So thank you guys. If you have any comments, please leave them down below and we'll be sure to check them out um, if there are any video recommendations. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.